sometimes you may want to connect to your Linux desktop over RDP, such as when you're running your Linux desktop in a cloud environment like Azure or GCP. To install RDP, I'm going to start by switching out of the root account and into a less privileged account. I'm going to switch to, in this case, the Kali user, which does not have the root privileges. I'll switch my shell. And so now we are just in the Kali user who's in the Kali group and doesn't have automatic root access to the system. It doesn't matter which user you use, it's just best practice not to use the root account because the installation process automatically puts the current user into the RDP group so that user is going to have access over RDP. To begin, we just want to make sure that we have the latest packages. I'm going to use the sudo, sudo prefix here to make sure that I have enough privileges to run these commands. And I'm going to check that I've got the latest software updates. Put in the password for this current user. And we'll go ahead and check and see if there's any newer software available. Once we do that, we're going to install the packages. So we're going to do apt install. And we want to install the XRDP software. Installation process will take a little while depending on how fast the machine is, how fast the internet connection, but should be less than a couple of minutes. You may want to allow other users to connect over RDP. You can put them into the correct groups using user mod and giving them the supplemental groups XRDP and SSL cert. The RDP server uses the TLS protocol to encrypt the connection, so they may need to be in both groups. And in my case, I'm going to use another user that I got on this box for this example. Now we might want to either just start the RDP service for this session, or we may want to enable it to start up every time the computer boots. If you're going to push your VM into the cloud, you're going to want to enable it every time. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect. So to enable it for just this one time, we're going to do the use a system control, and we're just going to start the service. It's xrdp.service. But if we want to enable it to start every time the computer boots, we're going to use the enable command instead. And we can check the status of the service by using the status command. And we want to make sure that it's running. And we know which port it's running on, which is going to be port 3389 by default. Since everything is correct, we can now use the RDP client built into any Windows machine to connect. Or if you're using a Mac, you can install the Microsoft desktop remote connection software from Microsoft from the App Store. And you can use that to connect over to the RDP service, just like you are connecting to a Windows machine.